Hi guys, welcome to Mother Moon Tarot. Um, this is gonna be the um, July reading for Aries. Um, so first of all guys, I just wanna say I'm very sorry for the um, delay in getting your readings out this month. Uh, Mercury Retrograde has been kicking my ass. <laughs> um, I had a few delays with travels, uh, travel plans and that coming back from um, a few days away. So um, it put me kind of behind with getting the videos uh, filmed and uploaded. So apologies for that guys. Um, so let's get on with it. A couple of things before we move into the actual reading. Um, we had two eclipses this month. We've had one already on the second um, with the new moon in um, Cancer. Um, and we've got another one then on the 16th or the 17th of July, um, which is in Capricorn. So there's a lot of, um, a lot of kind of changes, upheavals, um, things going on. Um, so there was two eclipses in January um, and they are kind of almost mirroring the two that we have now. So we had one at the start of the year and we've got now another, um, sorry, we had two at the start of the year in January and we've got two now um, coming up to this uh, in the sixth month of the year. So it's kind of like a mirroring effect. So there's a lot of things that are kind of changes, upheavals, um, uh, things happening in terms of uh, changes, um, in January um, and now there's a kind of a re kind of rebirth of that where it's happening again um, six months down the line so it's like a yeah it's a lot it's a change upheaval a rejig a reshuffle um, you know it's kind of like a you know it's like a sifting of the energies kind of thing um, so with that said there's a lot of that kind of going on this month we're also in cancer season um, and now we'll be moving into uh, Leo season as well shortly on the 23rd um, but for that for now we are in cancer season and that's all to do with home family um, you know friends it's to do with um, the energies of nurturing self um, restructuring your kind of goals um, and also kind of um, shifting out any old insecurities um, or old habits or old kind of self-confidence issues or yeah old insecurities that you may have had um, you know stemming from the past so there's a whole load of that going on with the eclipses um, again that's obviously double doubly emphasized because you're kind of there's a whole rejig and a re kind of shuffle of things kind of happening um with mercury retrograde as well mercury retrograde is all to do with by teaching us lessons um so that kind of comes in along with the eclipse kind of energy and um cancer energy as well so there's a whole load of kind of shifting rejigging re-looking at um you know all of that kind of going on so it's a very pivotal kind of month um now um, to get into your reading, um, let's find out what you guys have in store for the rest of July. So, let's have a little look. So, what can Aries expect for the rest of July, please? What does Aries need to know for July? What does Aries need to know for July, please? What does Aries need to know for July, please? Aries need to know for July. Mm, too many cards. For July, that one's jumper. July. Okay, there we go. We have it. Mm. This one, this one, this one. This one comes out at the end. Okay, so. Okay, guys, so as always, I'm just going to take a few minutes to look at the cards, put the messages together for you. Um, as always, you don't have to wait for me. You can skip ahead to the start of the, the main reading if you want to. Uh, but just give me a few minutes to tune in and figure out what these messages are for you. Okay, guys, so, yeah. Okay, so the underlying energy that you had was the Empress, okay? So I really feel like this is you this month. However, this is you, this is your end goal for the month. This is who you're, you're looking, you're looking at yourself and this is who you want to embody. This is who you want to be. This is the energy that you want to have at the end of the month and then going forward, okay? But you're not just there yet, okay? This is you kind of looking at yourself in the future almost and being like, I want to be that person, okay? Um, and you have, by all means, the, the tools to do so. So the Empress is very much a, it's it's all a bit fruit, um, 
you know, the beginnings, the, the fertility, okay? Um, now, for some of you, this could mean, and I always say this just simply because the, there is the energy of this in this card. Um, in this card, the Empress is pregnant. So for some of you, you could be learning about a birth. Um, you could be about to give birth. You could be pregnant, finding out that you're pregnant. You could be finding out that someone in your family is pregnant um, because it is the month of home, family, and friends. So um, a family member or a friend could be pregnant as well. So just bear that in mind. Like I said, it's not always the case, but just for some of you, it may resonate that way, okay? Not all messages are always going to resonate for everyone. Um, nevertheless, it is the card of you know new beginnings, fertility. You can see all this grain is kind of uh, ready and fruitful and ready to harvest. You know all of these trees are luscious; they're kind of growing. They've been birthed. You know, um, she, you know she's she's sitting there. There are. If you have a little look, there's pomegranates on her dress. Pomegranates are the the um, another symbol for uh, fertility, okay? So it's all about the feminine, all about the nurturing, okay? And it's, it's uh, cancer season as well, like I said, it's all about that nurturing. So this, yeah, there's, a, there's, there's about birth, there's nurturing, there's fertility, it's new beginnings. It's all about that, that very kind of feminine nurturing kind of energy, okay? And that's, that's kind of the, the, um, the positive kind of energy that you want to be embracing by the end of this month or, or kind of see yourself as okay and that is coming to you but you just have to you have to work through the energies of this month like i said this month is all about you know that reshuffle that rejigging of things um so you're kind of looking at yourself and kind of tweaking things to kind of feel you know to get to the point where you kind of feel more like this energy that you want to embody okay so lovely card to have as your underlying energy because it means that it's kind of coming in and that is what is pushing the energies of this month okay so let's have a little look at your spread okay there is a, 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 a feel, the feeling I'm getting off this card, and this is your first card, is the chariot. There's a feeling of you wanting to kind of rush ahead with things, okay? You're wanting to kind of get to that kind of empress energy um, faster than you would like, okay? Now, we've got Mercury retrograde. There's setbacks. There's um, issues sometimes with things kind of moving at the pace that you want them to. Um, there can be holdups, um, anything to do with that, that sort of thing. Mercury retrograde can step in. So just be careful about that energy this month because you may be wanting to rush forward and get to that energy of the empress quicker than you'd like but mercury retrograde will probably kick your ass and probably kind of um, make things a little bit more difficult for you where it's kind of holding you back to the point where you need to kind of just re-look re at things reshuffle things for yourself and kind of maybe take a take a look at how to do things in a different way or slow the pace down okay nevertheless you are wanting to kind of move forward or, or push forward with things um you know uh, at a little bit of a faster pace this month okay now that's not to say you know that it, that you know everyone's going to get held back that's not necessarily the case i'm just letting you know that it, with mercury being retrograde you might find that this energy or you know you might just find that you're getting even getting a little bit of anxiety this month because you're wanting the things to move forward quicker but the energy of the month is definitely one of taking kind of time to kind of sit back rejig things relook at things change things a little bit tweak things to kind of suit um the your alignment kind of more um and, and all of that sort of thing so you might you know it's kind of like an energy of don't charge on ahead take the time to t sit back look at things and align things in the correct way okay um, now, the reason I say that as well is because you have the uh, the Eight of Wands coming in here. So that's fast. Uh, it's fast action. It's fast uh, messages, information, uh, new information kind of coming in, okay? Now, this could be to do with um, a person. So you could be communicating with a person. There's fast communication coming in there. Um, it could simply be that, you know, you're kind of putting things together in your own head um, and there's fast kind of new information and new logic and new, um, you know, um, action plans kind of coming in. Um, whatever it is, it's all new. You know, you can see the new shoots on on these on these kind of fast kind of wands here okay and wands is all to do with action so you're wanting to take fast action with the chariot and the new information and kind of new messages and uh new kind of um perspective on things kind of coming in okay um but i would just make sure that you kind of are careful with that energy don't rush forward too quickly because you might end, end up being you know getting yourself into bother um, or kind of getting yourself into more difficulties than, than you originally thought and then that just kind of sets you back a little bit. So just be careful and mindful of that energy this month, okay? Mercury is in retrograde, let's, let's be honest, okay? Now, you have another energy coming in here and that is the energy of the Five of Cups in reverse. Now, I like this for you because, um, you know, Five of Cups in the in the upright is usually about, you know, there's three, three spilt cups and you have two behind you that you just haven't noticed, okay? So yes, this was painful, this was hurtful, you know, it's emotions and feelings all spilled over and, you know, there, there's a kind of grievance kind of going on here and yes, it was painful, but you still have that Two of Cups here, okay? So you're really kind of, it, it's, it, you know, with it being in the reverse, it's like you kind of, you've realized that those are spilt Yes, but you you kind of turning around and noticing now that those two of cups are there. Okay, so you you have 
it's still a lot to work with okay so it's like you're kind of turning around out of that, out of that energy of you know seeing just seeing these kind of three spilled cups so whatever this was for you now this could be um, emotions and feelings towards anything in your life okay it could be you know a person a relationship uh, a friend it could be a colleague it could be a job it could be a you know a home situation it could be um, you know anything anything in your life um, but for for one reason or another um, there were emotions that were hurtful here or or painful kind of emotions that were spilt um, or lost here to do with a specific situation in your life that you are now realizing you know I can turn my back on that now I don't need to be crying over this spilt milk I have this I have still got these two cups here I have you know a lot of kind of you know I have a lot of my emotions and feelings still left um, I don't need to be wasting any more time on this or kind of grieving over this anymore and I'm going to turn my back and kind of move forward with things so that's a brilliant actually energy to be having um and I kind of like that for you now and, and like I said you know that if if this charity is to, chariot um is to do with this situation and kind of moving on from that situation because you kind of ha had new light or new information kind of come to light then in that case you know that is a good thing for you because it is only going to lead you to a more kind of positive energy okay now, along with that card that you had, you also then had this card um, flip out between the next, because so I usually do six cards in a, in a general reading. And um, after the first three, this one popped out kind of just after um, the the third card. And then I, I wasn't going to take it. And then I thought, no, okay, that's supposed to come out. And then I took the next three, which all came out together. So I feel like this is kind of a pointing card that links the two energies together. So this card then is the uh, the seven of wands so the seven of wands it's like you're here you're, you're battling everything you've been battling for you've been battling lots of different situations um for quite a while okay and you know you're not losing because you know you can see you're higher up you've got the the higher kind of perspective and you're kind of just battling everything at once but you're tired okay you're tired of having to do that you can see you know he's getting tired he is battling through and he's you know he's um he's winning the battle and he's kind of knocking down all of these kind of these wands but he is a little bit tired at the end of the day even though he has that the upper hand on them okay so I feel like that that kind of energy you know that you could have been doing that you know battling all these kind of at these different kind of situations and this could have been one of them okay um or you know some of these could be some of these situations could have been to do with um, the emotions and feelings that you had built over various different situations okay nevertheless that is in the reverse and that is shifting out and I feel like this card kind of goes with that as in like those situations that you're having to battle are all now kind of starting to um, dissipate okay so they're starting to come to an end those so those um, cycles are coming to a completion okay now it's not the ten of wands um so it's not a completion of a cycle but they're starting to come to, to an end okay and the reason i say that is because you have the six of swords then next the six of swords is all to do with you know um getting in that boat okay with um with you know um all your kind of your all, all the stuff that you kind of have um all your your six swords um of logic and kind of the you know uh, logical kind of thinking and reasoning and you're sailing to camera water so you're you're basically leaving the shit behind so all these kind of shitty situ situations or all these kind of just difficult situations they may not have been shitty they may just have been difficult okay whatever those situations were yeah um all of these whatever these emotions were that you were kind of dwelling on okay whatever they they are you're getting in your boat now you're leaving all that shit behind and you're sailing to camera waters with a lot more logic and kind of a uh, new kind of perspective um and kind of logical thinking on things okay so it's a really kind of it's it's a it's a really nice energy to have because you're leaving uh, a lot behind you and you're moving forward into kind of new more positive energies which is exactly what you want to do because you're wanting to kind of get to this empress energy and slowly but surely throughout the month you are doing that Okay, um, the reason I say that is because the last two cards that you have out was the Two of Wands and the Ace of Wands. So beautiful energy to be ending the month on um, and definitely beautiful energy to be kind of moving forward into this. And if you look the way that these cards kind of go, the way that they fell in the, in the spread would have been this um, and then this and then obviously this is your underlying energy. So you can see here in the Two of, uh, two of Wands, he is actually looking out towards this Ace of Wands and looking out towards this Empress. So he's looking in towards the future, okay? And it's like, he's, it's almost kind of like he's manifesting that future for himself, okay? So, um, 
let's talk about this. So the two of wands um, is very much a gateway energy, okay? So one on one, um, a gateway. So you're uh, moving forward into a new phase of your life, um, a new phase of kind of maybe a new way of looking at things, a new way of new perspective on life, a new, um, or even just new, a new chapter of your life, okay? And with the shakeup of all the eclipses, that's very much a thing that's kind of going on for a lot of the signs this month. So I wouldn't be surprised if that is the case where you're, whereby you're kind of leaving all, like I said, you're leaving all the old shit behind all the negative kind of karmic situations that you may have been in uh, in the last couple of years, the last couple of months, the last couple of weeks, whatever have you, that kind of old kind of cycle of, of kind of stuff is is coming to an end. It's kind of changing, okay? And you're kind of coming to this new kind of position in your life whereby you're able to, if you have a look at this guy here, he's looking at this world. He's got the world in his hand here and he's like kind of scrying over that kind of world. He's holding on to this wand of action, okay? And he's ready, he's wanting to take action. He's standing ready to kind of walk through this gateway, but he's waiting for his kind of ships to come in here, okay? Um, he's kind of just kind of contemplating and kind of sitting back and taking a look at the world from another perspective, if you can kind of see, okay? So you can see here, he's kind of like, okay, if I do this, with my with the crystal that I have it's almost like he's holding this world in his hand and he's kind of scrying over this crystal you know or this kind of this this earth you know he's looking at it from all different angles and all different perspectives uh, and kind of figuring out what, what his next move is before he takes action okay before he takes action with his hand that he's got on his wand and before he walks through this doorway so it's very much like a pause kind of atmosphere and that's what I was saying to you with the you know, with the um, chariot and the eight of wands here is that, you know, don't go rushing on ahead and trying to get to that empress energy too quick. You know, make sure that, you know, wait for all that information and all that kind of uh, those messages to kind of come in to you. Take the time to take a pause and really kind of contemplate everything or all your situations or all your options, you know, from another perspective, rejig your goals, you know, um, re, you know, reshift all those insecurities out of your life, rejig the goals, rejig the, the ideas that you have, the plans that you want for yourself, you know, rejig all of those, align them to kind of how, how you're feeling and how you want to feel a little bit, you know, uh, um, better for yourself so that the, those plans then can be put into action here. Here. okay and you can see then once he kind of takes that time to do that and he's ready he's got that hand ready to kind of take action that then is full force ahead you can see this is the divinely timed okay so it's all divinely timed here okay so don't go rushing on or trying to push energies forward this month trying to push things forward uh, too quickly because like I said, it is all divinely timed and it will come into play when it's supposed to come into play, okay? There's no rushing this month with all the retrogrades. that We have like four or five planets, no, five or six planets in retrograde. One of them being Mercury, obviously, which is the planet of teaching us lessons. You've got the eclipses, you know, one, one at the start of the month, one at the end of the month that's coming in. You've got the whole energy of, you know, cancer season as well. So all of that this month is definitely teaching us to rejig things don't push don't try and push the energies forward everything is divinely timed and things will come into fruition and things will change for for, for everyone in, in a lot in a lot more of a positive way and you will get to kind of this emperor's energy but you need to put the work in and take the time to just take a seat back and rejig things let the reshuffle happen naturally okay um and this action then this forward moving action will come um, towards this Empress kind of energy, um, you know, towards the end of the month. If you kind of just let things kind of go, just go with the flow this month. That's pretty much, you know, what the, the, the overall message has been with a lot of the signs this month is like, a lot of old stuff is shifting out. Um, this is the theme that I'm getting throughout the, the Zodiac kind of uh, readings that I'm doing is a lot of stuff is shifting out. There's a reshuffle of everything. Um, it's not, um, everyone is kind of being told not to push the energies too much, you know, not to kind of like bowl on ahead or like try and make, you know, control this or letting control of that, letting go of control of that, sorry. You know, it's all about like, don't, not pushing the energies and just allowing the energies to kind of reshuffle things and rejig things the way they're supposed to be done by the universe themselves in their own way, going with the flow and just letting that happen. Sure, it's gonna hurt a lot of people in terms of like purging, having to really shift through a lot of, um, you know, old karmic energy, um, people coming back into your life that you never thought you'd have to deal with again. You know, there's there's situations cropping up that you thought you wouldn't you wouldn't have to deal with again, and there's a lot of so there's a lot of kind of bringing up of the old. Um, but there's, it's purging, it's purging a lot of stuff for everybody. And then because of that, it's like shifting that out, getting rid of it once and for all. And then there's a kind of a 
push, like a gentle kind of push then towards the end of the month into these newer kind of energies um, after these kind of eclipses that's setting us up then for like a lot more positive kind of stuff to kind of come in the next, in the next well six months or in the future whatever have you um so it's yeah it, it's a tricky month because um there's a lot of stuff kind of going on but it's definitely a month where you have to kind of let go of control and trying to to just go with the flow of things and that's definitely like i said popping up here in your reading with the you know chariot don't push it through the energies too fast wait for all the information and uh, the correct information to come in um you know leaving the past behind you sailing to calmer waters, okay, um, then taking time to contemplate, look at things from a different perspective, rejig, reshift your kind of your mindset, your logic, your thoughts on things, and then knowing that you can take action then, you know, you know, going from here to here in divine, in divine timing, and then being able to get to your, your empress uh, energy. And what I love as well about the, the empress energy, this was your underlying energy. The card that was underneath that was the six of wands, okay? And the six of wands is all to do with victory, okay? So you are going to be victorious and getting towards this energy, you know? Um, there's so many wands um, in this spread. Um, you had the eight, the six, the eight, the seven, so you're going from the, sorry, the seven to the eight, and then you had the two to the one, okay? And then you've got the, the six here as well. So, you know, a lot of one's energy, it's a lot of action kind of happening this month, but you've got to let it happen in divine timing, okay? So guys, that was your reading. Um, I'm just going to give you a few oracle cards now. So I'm going to do the Moonology deck, um, and then I'm going to do the Universe Has Your Back for you, actually. Um, that's one, I'm, I haven't done that for any other sign this month, but I'm feeling that that's the best one to go with. So, let's have a little look. Okay, so, what does Aries need to know for July, please? What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know for July, please? What does Aries need to know for July? Okay, what does Aries need to know for July? There we go. Okay. What does Aries need to know for July, please? What does Aries need to know for July? Okay. You have three pop out together and I'm going to take them because they just popped out so prominently that they're, I, they're not just ones I had to put back in the deck. They were meant for you. Okay. So, Moonology deck. You have your commitment is being tested. Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely a uh, month for that, um, you know, with all these kind of um, eclipse energies and that. You're, you're kind of, and Mercury retrograde as well, you know, you're you're being tested in some way to kind of shift out the old and kind of bring in the new. So yeah, your commitment is being tested this month, okay? And that could be, you know, a commitment to a cause. It could be a commitment to, um, you know, wanting to get to this Emperor's energy. Um, it could be a commitment to you know, wanting to move things on ahead, um, but needing to slow down the pace in order for things to kind of happen in divine timing. Um, it could also be um, a commitment to letting go of old um, situations and old emotions and feelings about certain situations um, that you've been battling through and really and really allowing yourself this, this time to commit to moving into calmer waters um, and taking a look at things from a different perspective in order to kind of achieve what it is you want by the end of the month in terms of kind of that new prosperity and that kind of new rebirth of, your, of things for you okay so yeah your commitment is being tested this month and that is very much in line with the energies of this of this month okay so i'm not surprised that that's kind of come up for you okay so let's have a little look at the universe has your back cards okay so <laughs> okay so the first one you got, and I like this because, you know, the deck is called the universe has your back and you got that card. You got the universe has your back. Okay. So that's really nice that you got that kind of prominent cover card. Okay. Because it does. Okay. You have uh, everything that you need to kind of sail from the old and kind of move into the new kind of energy, sailing into calmer waters. Okay. The universe has your back with that, you know, and if you're taking the time to go within and kind of really contemplate things from a new perspective before you kind of move forward into this new phase or this new gateway of your life and allow yourself things and things to happen in divine timing, the universe has your back with that, okay? So allow yourself to just move with the flow this month, okay? The universe has your back, okay? I really like that. It's lovely. Um, okay, the next, um, the next one then that you got was... My capacity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need when I am ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive, and the power I need when I am lost. So yeah, that's very, 
very very prominent there so it's very much uh, I'll read it again to you just in case you didn't hear it so it says the capacity to tune in to the energies of love gives me the words I need when I am ready to speak up the compassion I need when it is time to forgive and the power I need when I am lost so it's beautiful energy because it's very much a uh, it's a it's a card of kind of talking about really you know Allowing yourself to step up to certain things, allowing yourself to shift out old things and give yourself the strength and the power to move forward into new energies, okay, with, you know, compassion and power um, and allowing yourself to speak up for yourself. So you're definitely doing that this month, okay, like you're letting go of that old kind of, um, that old kind of uh, emotions and feelings about a, a certain situation. You're letting go of all those battles that you've been battling. You're sailing from the old and moving into the new, okay, you're allowing yourself to do that this month, okay. A very powerful card, card. I really like that. It's a lovely energy. And then the last card that you had was, my vibes speak louder than my words. Absolutely. And I would say that might have a correlation to do with this card this month. Okay. So this, uh, this card, the Eight of Wands, is all to do with about new information, new messages, new communication coming in. Okay. However, I will say that, yes, it is that. Okay. It's all about communication, new communication coming in. But it's also about action, okay, words, or sorry, wands, sorry, are all about action, okay? So with, with the card that you got, my vibes speak louder than words, it's almost like, yes, there may be all this new communication, and there might well be this fast information kind of coming at you, and people may be communicating with you and giving you messages and trying to give you all this information, okay? And that may be, might be making you want to kind of move forward with haste on things, okay? But what I would suggest is don't allow that to happen, okay? Don't let all this new communication, this fast communication and information um, kind of trigger you to kind of wanting to move through things too fast. Because like I said, that might get tripped up this month. Take the energy of that information, okay? And just allow it to kind of be... Take, take the energy of this card. Don't allow the information to kind of like I said, trigger you into doing this, but allow it to just kind of help you to move forward with action, but in the right pace, okay? Because like it says here, the vibes speak louder than my words. So the communication isn't what's key here, okay? It's the vibes that you get from this communication that's coming through, and then the action that you take that speaks louder than those words, okay? So the action that you take by not rushing forward with too much haste, and allowing the energy to kind of just come through in divine timing. That's what the key is this month for you, okay? It's those vibes that speak louder than those words, okay? That will get you more towards this Empress energy than anything else, okay? So yeah, important card this month. So guys, that's your reading. Um, I hope that it resonated. Um, please let me know in the comments down below. As always, please like and share um, and, and um, subscribe. Um, if you haven't already. Also guys, um, I have uh, a few links in the description box below uh, to, um, there's one for uh, some merch that I've created for uh, Mother Moon. So if you're interested in taking a look and checking it out, um, or even having a wee nosy, um, or buying some of the stuff, then please check out the link below. It'll take you directly to the website and you can have a little nosy around on there. So um, so yeah, um, thank you for all your, your help, your donations, your help, your private readings and all of that. Um, because that really helps me to be able to kind of move the kind of the channel forward and uh, you know the the business forward in terms of all the merch and that for you guys as well so um, thank you very much for everybody um, who has uh, subscribed donated um, got private readings and, and all of that um, you know from the channel so thank you to you all um, and that's it guys so I will see you again in uh, August um, so have a wonderful month um, it's gonna be challenging but you'll get through it you are on your way to this Empress energy absolutely you're you've got victory card here so go for it don't move too fast let yourself kind of settle into the energies and uh, I hope you have a wonderful month I will see you again in August all right Cheerio. Bye.